In this video, I would like to construct a confidence interval for a population mean. I'm going to do problem number 10 here out of our textbook, um, off of page 342. Atkins Weight Loss Program. In a test of weight loss programs, 40 adults used the Atkins Weight Loss Program. After 12 months, their mean weight loss was found to be 2.1 pounds with a serine deviation of 4.8 pounds. Well, let's just pause there and summarize the information we'll need to know. So I have a sample size. I had 40 adults. I have a sample mean of 2.1 pounds, a sample standard deviation of 4.8 pounds, and we're asked to construct a 90% confidence interval. It's a 90%, and that would make alpha 0.1. A confidence interval estimate of the mean weight loss for all such subjects. Does the Atkins program appear to be effective? Does it appear to be practical? And we'll come back to those two questions there at the end. For now, let's construct our um, confidence interval. So we're going to go over to stat. We're going to go over to tests. And this is going to be a T interval. We have data, excuse me, we have summary statistics here rather than the actual data. The mean, 2.1 pounds. The standard deviation, 4.8 pounds. Sample size of 40, and a confidence level of 0.9. And we get a confidence interval between 3 point, let's just say 3.4 pounds, and 0 0.8 pounds. The true population, and I'm 90% sure of the method we just used, that the true population means between 0 0.8 pounds and 3.4 pounds. Does the Atkins program appear to be effective? Well, average weight loss tends to be more than zero. I know it's uh, between zero and, or excuse me, 0 0.8 pounds and 3.4 pounds, so people are losing weight. But then there's the question of practicality, and because of where this mean lives, I'm 90% sure that the true population means between 0.8 and 3.4 pounds. I'd have to say there doesn't seem to be a practical significance because, well, the mean's not up to like 5 pounds or 10 pounds or where people tend to have targeted goals. Now, just to say, I'm doing a problem out of a textbook. I am not claiming that this is real data. I'm not claiming that it's not real data. Just constructing a confidence interval and not making any real judgments about any particular weight loss program. But that's the answer based on the information we had access to. And that's it for now.